And welcome back once again to No Man's Sky and the Expedition Pole Star. This is episode number two. We're going to pick up right where we left off. As you are all aware, we have already completed phase one uh, in its entirety. We're moving on to phase two, and of course in phase four, we've already completed a couple, and that's where we stand right now. So it looks like this would take a while, but things really should start moving along from this point forward. So let's get moving. And next thing is on our, on our list, of course, is that we need to move on to our next planetary system. So let's get to the map. Let's take a peek. Now we have a boosted uh, hyperdrive system on my radar, so we can zip right past these other planets that we were going to go to and go straight to the next system. So we should be in good shape here. Uh, rendezvous 2, nothing special going on there. Let's hit it. Hopefully my voice is coming through okay. I'm a little bit uh, <clears throat> scratchy. Been talking for hours straight. Nice big cup of water, so I should be able to keep hydrated the whole time. All right, here we are. Oh, that wasn't dizzying at all. Okay, so we're in the system where we need to be in order to get the second log. Let's follow the red path, or orange path, whatever path you want to call this, and we should be able to get the records. Access, ship's logs, date stamp, arrived in the Instas system. The computer tells us it has been over a decade since we left. Perhaps it is right. The tiredness is all-consuming, and we struggle to keep the memories fresh. There is at least rhythm to life again with the captain awake. But where are we going? Once more into the black? Once more to disappointment? So, let's complete that one. Okay, materializer plans for the ship, wiring loom times three, and yellow paint for the ship itself. So, we need to mill, build that. I'm not worried about the colors right now. Uh, so you see that well, that's one of the things we can go to the second rendezvous, but let's get the orbital exocraft materializer going It looks like well, we have to get over here in order to be able to build anything or check the building menu uh, Let's see fleet command bulkhead No, oh, it's right here. I'm looking right at it. We need two more warp cells Well, let's get over to the freighter. That's where they were located anyway so obviously we need two antimatter. I hate when that happens. Oh great, gave me three. I wasn't trying to do three, but hey, that's okay. And what are we missing here? We need condensed carbon. Well, the good news is we should have plenty of carbon to play with here. All right. Get that cooking along. Wait till we get to about 100 and I'll pull it out. I'll try to be a little more chatty like I was on the first episode. Here we go. Good. All right. So, let's go building. Looks like we've got plenty. Alright, so where are we going to build this? This doesn't have to be nearby. We can put it anywhere we want. So, I'll stick it over here. Just to get it out of the way. And, there's our achievement. Milestone complete. Alright, it's going to give us our Nautilon Chamber. We need five metal plates to go with the crystal sulfide and the salt that we needed. Uh, Romer Geo Bay, Exocraft Specialist Room, if we feel like building that. We don't really need it. Okay. Construct a teleport chamber. That would be really handy, and I'm sure you'll agree with me on that. Let me see if I can get that. No, we got to get it by reaching the second rendezvous. That's when we get our teleport chamber. We get a bunch of nanites with it, though, too, so that's good news. All right, so we can't do that yet. We're going to have to do that. 
let's get a move on. So it looks like we got to discover some more plants. All right. And we need some metal plates to build our chamber. So you know what? This is on our ship. We're going to put it on our person. And the salt should already be on our person. It is. I am going to make the five metal plates required. And we're all set here. So now we can make those chambers. Let's get a move on. Tally ho off to the ship. Where ship? Air ship. Hello, ship. <clears throat> and on our way. And isn't that interesting? Rendezvous two. Let's get a little away from our ship here. Very interesting. Why is it... Well, I guess it could be a craft like that. No, I don't feel like buying that extended warranty on my vehicle. Thank you very much. Alright. Now, like I said, I said that these are all crashed freighters. So what we want to do is look for a crashed freighter in the water. Hey, look, it looks like a crashed freighter in the water. Now, obviously, most of it is submerged. And you're going to want to think to yourself, hey, if I go to one of those islands nearby, I can just swim over. But there's part of the ship exposed, isn't there? And if you do it just right, you can land right on top of the freighter itself. Very nice, right? Let's jump down. And there we are, second rendezvous. Very strange. It's like all of the communication modules are gone. Fascinating. Okay. Well, anyway. Try to get the plant life. We need plants. Eight. Okay. Yep, a little quiet there. Sorry. Wanted to focus. Okay, two of eight. All right. Love to hit some land. Just likes telling me about that extreme radiation detected. Yeah, let's see. I don't think there's any other plants to discover here. Inorganic object. That's not going to give us anything. Plant life. Plant life. Let's go ahead and grab it. And organic. And organic. Okay, let's get up. There we go. And now we can get back to our ship. All right, good deal. So that gave us a little bit of something. Let's see what kind of things we've got. We're going to collect the reward for that. That's going to give us our teleport chamber. And our nanites. Salvage frigate module. Inventory slots. Let me see where the inventory slots come into play. Ah, up here. We don't have much going on up here, so I'm going to keep going down here. We're going to get two more right there, and we'll continue with it. Okay. All right, so we've got to build a Nautilin chamber. We also should be looking for a crashed ship. So let's get out of here. Let's get up to our freighter. And I would call it in, but we want to get up to the space station as well. We don't really need anything, per se, but... Oh, there's another watery planet right there. Uh, let's get boosting, because I want to be able to take a look at it. Flourishing planet. So we're going to get some more plant life there. 
we also have to discover more animals. I don't know where we are in regards to that. Let me just check real quick. Uh, let's see. It's not there. There's the minerals. 12 or 15 creatures to, uh, found. So where are we with plants? 11 or 14. Okay. So that'll be a new way of getting things done. I just want to stop there because that'll be a quick way of jumping back and forth to the space station if I need to sell some stuff off. We've got 2 million credits still, so we're in good shape. So we'll just jump in and out of the station. We're not going to stay long. Ugh, boy. Almost needed a barf bag on that one. Can't even imagine what that would have looked like in VR. Now, do we have anything on us that we need to sell? I don't think so. Scanner module, but you know what? Our multi-tool, it really needs upgrading. I'm going to go ahead and put it on anyway, because it's always good to have one. But that's going to be it for that. Okay. Okay, in. Uh, out. Pardon me. Back in. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right. Now, I could have swore that planet had water on it. I mean, you guys saw it too, didn't you? It, I could have swore it had water on it. Well, that's the abandoned planet. That's the one right behind me. Hold on. Where'd it go? Let's take a look here. Was it here? No, that's decaying nuclear. That's the big planet we were just looking at. Oh, it was right here. Okay. Activated copper. Oh, you know what? I think I remember this planet. I think at one time I thought that this was a... Because of the activated copper, it was a storm-like planet that would have storm crystals, but it didn't. But still, we got to get our Nautilus chamber down. So let's go ahead and just drop in anyway and get this over with. <clears throat> and we'll be able to check out a couple of the animals and stuff like that while we're on the planet. That looks like a good enough place. Let's get out of this view so I can probably find some place to land. And we got uranium. I really don't have to look for a particular place to land. And it looks like a storm is brewing as we speak. That's going to be annoying. This looks like a good enough spot. Okay, so we need three more animals and I think three more plants. Painfully hot rain. I love that. It's going to be painfully hot rain outside today. Don't forget to bring a Band-Aid. And that's an organic. That's a plant. Should be it. There it is. We'll take that. Biological life form. One. And there's two, and we need one more. Let's get out into the painfully hot rain. Uh, rain? Lane. Uh, okay, there's a word for this. It's called not being able to speak, anyway. Hmm, what do we have here? Oh. There it is. And three. How many more? There's 11 on this planet. But we should get our... There it is. That's the second milestone we've accomplished. Uh, let's get our life support up to par. And let's get back in the water. And that should take care of that area. Alright, so we need to build this thing, right? Let's go ahead and build it. Nautilon chamber. Let's just go ahead and put it down there. Okay. I think that's it, right? Deploy a submarine. All right, well, let's get in it. It's not going to go anywhere. There it is. Collect that reward.
All right, we'll get the other rewards in just a second. I want to check something out real quick. Ah, good. Something worth 1.2 million. Excellent. Cannon. And that is... Okay, good. Get another one over here. And put you over there. No? Okay, well, either way. And we kind of need fuel, but I don't think we have access to the fuel for this yet. No, we do. And that's where the cytophosphate came in. We kind of do need some. I'm going to see if any of the plants here have any. Uh, let's see. Yeah, cytophosphate. What do you know? We only need 40. There we go. Should be able to make one now. There we go. All right, I'm going to do something here real quick and get over here. That should get rid of the bad guys that were trying to chase us. And let's just scooch down there real quick. And I hate leaving things behind. Gone. Now we get everything we need. Okay. Okay, we're all set. So that takes care of deploying that. We're going to collect the reward on the plants, cultivation chamber. We need feceum, but we're going to get that in one of our rewards. Okay. Yeah, mining bee modules. I'd love to use them, to be honest with you, but I can't. Okay, and let's get our... We should have one more reward. There it is. And there's our Fecium. As I said. Okay. That's done. So here's the Fecium we need in order to create the chamber that we were looking for. We can sell these. We don't need them. Okay. Looks like we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and... Take off. So if I'm not mistaken, as I float up to the sky, I want to check out these real quick. So we need to, we see we, we've started out, how long ago? Just under 18 minutes ago. With nothing done on phase two, we've already completed more than half of it. We have to construct a teleport chamber, a double cultivation chamber. We don't have to do the optional milestone. We're not going to visit somebody else's base. And then we should be done. So let's go ahead and get up there. And what can we do here? Let's call on that freighter so we don't have to travel all the way to it, right? So that's a way to save time. So if you want to speed run this thing, try to pull in your freighter whenever you can. But if you need to go to the space station, make sure you visited it first. It may take an extra few moments to do so, but that'll give you the opportunity to do it. And you can just use your teleporter, once you've built it, to get to the space station fast. And I mean it, very fast. All right, so teleport chamber I want to have close by. I need three antimatter to build it. And you notice I needed that amino chamber that I was talking about. So let's build our antimatter. I need two more condensed carbon. Go figure. Uh, where am I? There it is. And we're going to put it right here. There you go. So that was that, that what that amino chamber was for. I'm very glad we got that. So that's done. And we need to build a double cultivation chamber. So I'm going to build that out of the way. Um, I'll just put it right here. This will be a fine place for it. Uh, silver. Again, we needed silver for a lot of stuff. Oxygen and feceum. Done. And that one's achieved. So guess what? We just completed phase five in 20 minutes. Under 20 minutes. 
Phase 5. I said Phase 5, I'm at Phase 2. Ignore me. I know, I know. Stop. Good gosh. All right, all right, all right. We're all happy for you. Good deal. All right, great, great, wonderful. Oh, golly. So, what do we got? Let's take a look. Let's look at the freighter real quick, because I think everything got dumped in there. Frigate modules are there. Okay on the charge. Exocraft is out of range, but it recognizes it now. Okay. We have this to sell. This is on my exosuit, right? Probably not going to need these anymore, but I'll hang on to them in my starship just in case. Okay. All right. I think that should do it. There we go. Phase two is complete. All right. On to phase three. We do need to make the stellar extractor room when you still need to get three uh, pilots into our squadron. I think we have, what, two now, if I'm not mistaken. So we need one more. And how many nanites do I have? Not enough. So do any of these... Yep, see, we got 3,333 nanites. That'll get us where we need to be by reaching the third rendezvous. Excellent. We do need to start doing uh, fleet expeditions, and we need to start getting some fleet. Some fleet? I need to get fleet. I I guess that means I just need to get faster and faster and faster. See if we have enough to make a fleet room. We do. Okay, let me just take a look at it. Good. All right. You do that, and it automatically gives you fuel and the ability to build more. So we should have, let me just check to see where it put it. Good. 200 tons of fuel. So we sh that should be enough to get a get us a couple of missions. You want to get those missions done quick? Show you the trick. View potential expeditions. Look for the look for something really short. First of all. So there's one there. It really doesn't make a difference which one you choose. If you just choose one, the fuel required is dependent upon the ship that you have. So I'm going to assign that ship. I'm going to come back, and it's going to tell me I need 50 tons of fuel. Launch it. Right? Done. Okay, come over here. Immediately go to the fleet command. Abort the expedition. Then, one more time, go in. Debrief. Done. Come back. View potential and just do the same thing over again. Choose one. Assign a ship. Get the ship assigned. Come back. Launch. We go back. We're going to do the same thing one, two, one more time after this. Board Expedition. Debrief. And we're done. So that's two. One more. There's a good one. Sign the ship. And all we have to do is finish this last mission and we've got this particular milestone complete. Or and debrief. There you go. And that is now complete. So we've completed all three. It gives us frigate fuel, mineral, mineral compressor, explosive drones, alcohol. Okay, that's stuff for missions later on. Okay. So we're all set there. What's next? So we've completed phase two. We got to get to there. We just make sure. Let's go ahead and just go there. Let's uh, let's get that taken care of. Um, I do need to get one more pilot. Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Here we go. There. 
Make sure you choose the right one. I've done that before. Hydration is important. Keep the voice working properly. So I'm sure you can see by now it is a fairly easy going expedition in its entirety. Um, lost for words there sometimes. So now that we're here, we, off, we uh, as soon as we get to this spot, it tells us that we need to talk to him. Let's access the ship's logs. Date stamp arrived in the Amnika 3 system. A ship is a poor imitation of a planet. Even the best ship, you begin to see it for what it is. A vast medical, medical, metal skeleton. We miss the warm earth, the embrace of the soil, the soft changing light to dark. The stars are beautiful, but they are cold and unforgiving. It is no life to float endlessly through the expanse. It is no life, but it is life. Profound. Let the reward. We get a color. Yay! And we get some cosmetic items that you can store on your base or on the ship itself. And that's just going to keep going and going and going and going. And going. Okay, so we're in okay shape now. It's just going to keep going. So we need to get to the rendezvous point. Let's go ahead and do that real quick and get that out of the way. Hey, another fighter. Too bad I don't have any nanites. I'll have some soon. Let's get on my little box and head on out. The only thing that would have made this thing even cheaper looking is if it had a uh, or a paddle that stuck out of the side. Possibly even a rudder in the back. A singular solar sail. There you go. That would have been great. <laughs> the fan mounted to the top blowing air at it in space. There we go. I'm sorry. I took that too far. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. Now, we do have something we can sell, so if we hit a trader on the way, we'll go ahead and hit a trader on the way. All right, where is it? Oh. I heard the bling. Ah, it's over here. There you are. And, I know, space station. Should be away from it by now. On our way. Okay. So if we get a roaming trader on the way, we'll go ahead and sell him some stuff. There we go. A little recharge. With as long as we're going here, I'm surprised the trader hasn't already popped up. It's an Arctic planet. We have dioxide on the planet, so that's good if we need more. Frost crystals. All right. Just about there. Arctic or no Arctic, it looks like it's got a lot of frozen areas on this planet. Yeah, ignore the save beacon, follow the communication beacon, uh, communication stations. And we should start to see the edge of a ship sticking up out of the water here soon. There it is. I'm going to do the same thing we did before. And we jump in the water. And achievement made. A dreidel? That's nice. Floating in a most peculiar way. Nice. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> You'll love these people sometimes. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, good deal, good deal. You guys are great, man. You guys are great. Love it. All right, let's head on up. Wow. Get a little more charge back. And surface. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're done here. Let me just get over to the ship and we'll, uh, there we go. Okay. Let's get our reward. More nanites. Come on. All right. Let's put it here. You know that? Yeah, here and down here where it gets annoying. Okay. Keep thinking of missing something here. Got to get the three pilots. We'll be able to do that now. We got to shoot down some pirates. We do have to find a wrecked ship someplace. So we definitely need to hit the space station because I should have enough to get the maps to finding a wrecked ship somewhere. But we're going to open up the squadron thing. Get our third squadron person added in. Okay, that should be right here. Yep, 7,700 nanites is what I've got, and I have just enough. Okay, we can get a third ship now. And let's go ahead and take our teleport pad. Uh, it's over there. Do, do, do. to the space station current system and look how fast you get over there this is why you call on your freighter yeah buddy <laughs> we'll hit this guy while we're here uh, not random maps you want specific number two and you're gonna look for the one that looks like a bullseye I recommend getting at least three I'm greedy and I get four. Just in case. Now, the thing is, you've got two million nanites, pardon me, nanites, credits in your coffers right now. So you really kind of need to get some money because you have to buy, you have to actually buy a whole bunch of fr uh, frigates to join your freighter. So, just remember this. I guess it's another million anyway. So we have enough money on us to buy possibly two. And I need to get five. So, that should tell you something. So, for instance, if I go up to this guy and I try to purchase him out, watch how much it's going to cost me. He's S-Class. Go figure. You know what I'm going to grab? Let's just call it. That way we get the, uh, the achievement and it's done. Okay, got everybody. And we've got pulse engine module upgrade. Put over here. Over here. And we've got Starship Shield Module and Launch Thrusters. Always welcome. There, that looks better. Okay. All right, we're not going to hit that yet. We've got to get to a planetary surface before we can hit it. And we'll be taking on... Oh, you got to be kidding. Never mind. Could have had that guy. humid planet. So that's the planet we were just on. We're going to head straight to the surface here. So what are we in? Uh, 35 minute mark just about. Oh, look at that. 
looks like a place to land. And you know what it is, too? I'll be darned. I guess we didn't need those maps after all, huh? While we're here. Nice looking little planet, though, huh? I mean, the really humid rainstorms that can peel the, you know, skin off your back is minor inconvenience. We could go searching for things to sell if we really wanted to. Like that thing right there. Hmm, it's a thought. But it would be a long slog. And you know what? We're going to get some credits in here sooner or later. Distress signal, it's always going to be 720 on that one. And let's just see where it is. See if it's anywhere nearby. Thing is, we have four more. So conceivably, if it led to four more wrecks, we could fix them and sell them and fix them and sell them and fix them and sell them. Let's head over there and take a peek. How far away? 16 minutes of straight flying. Not happening. Let's take the shortcut. And right there. Two. One. And of course it's going to be in the dark. I'm still afraid of the dark. Now we could have used our Nautilin chamber. There is that. We could have used it if we had... Uh, gotten the upgrade for the sonar we could have looked for wrecks underwater but this is actually a little quicker <clears throat> it's after this whoa that's an unusual spot look at that it's a hauler too all right what do we got Nice little hauler. C-Class. Not worth much. Uh, says it's worth 32. We're probably going to get... Well, you know what? Even if we got a quarter of that at 8 million, that is really worth it. Let's take it. Okay, so what do we need? We need a metal plate. If I'm not mistaken. Metal plate, hermetic seal, dihydrogen pure. Okay. Metal plate... The hydrogen, hermetic seal, and I need. All right, dust. I need fifty. Okay. As efficiently as possible. Back to the starship. Repair, 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 repair. And while we're here, that's nice, huh? I think I'll take that. A little bit of sodium out of it. And the funny thing is, the photon cannon is actually working. Huh, go figure. Anyway, guess what? Restored a crash ship. Good timing, wasn't it? I thought that was pretty good timing. I think it was, too. Thank you. Thank you. Here all week. Yeah. Now, it's nice to have those if we're going to be doing a lot more water. It's water surfing, if you will. We don't need the nanites so much anymore, believe it or not, so it may not be really be necessary to go ahead and do that. Uh, life support module. How nice. Uh, that's going to go down here with you. Let's see. Except we need copper for that. Let's put it in. If we can find some copper, I'll go ahead and put it in. And the other one was the water jets. Uh, we need we need six living pearls for that. All right, so I'm not going to worry as much about that. All that shield lattice. That doesn't cost much. Don't really need it, to be honest with you. 
this is kind of nice. I need more chromatic metal, which I believe I have on my other ship. So let's... That should be what I need. There, put that up there. Okay. That looks good. Anything in here I need right now? Probably not. Okay, let's go back over here and fly you up to the space station. We don't even have to go up to the, all the way to the space station. That's the best part. Hi. Well, hi to you too. Alright, where's my freighter? Uh, oh, that's right. I had to go to a different area. Okay, let's pull the freighter in. Land on our freighter real quick, and then we'll get to the, to the space station real fast. Okay, and like I said, if we get enough money for this ship, we may have solved our problems in finding some frigates. Let's see. This way. First right. Straight on till morning. And space stations. Current system. Go. And we're there. There we go. Come on. There's the ship. Kind of an ugly little thing, isn't it? I don't know. I want to figure it's symmetrical. I do like that about it, but it's not my favorite. Claim scrap. Five million. That's not bad. Ah, I almost had it. Go in here. Why are we going in here? Because we always get something. I don't need that. I have no hyperdrive. Hey. All right. Uh, we do want to sell the stuff on board. My person. Offer to trade, sell. We should have the items. Compressed indium scraps, 3 million. Subatomic, recycled, spool. Anything else? I'll hang on to them for now in case I need more money later. But at this time, we don't. you have anything I want? Probably not. It's more silver, but I probably don't need it. You know what? And I earned 6 million units, so that gave me another achievement. Let me grab that while I'm thinking of it. Because you know what? Every time I say, ah, I'm probably not going to need that. And I'm needing it. Alright. What do we got? Recycling. We got some movement modules. We got money. Okay. Uh, let's put you up here. Three. Okay. Looks like we got some more things to sell. High value. Okay, well that's even better. And you go there. 205. 95. Put you up there. Nice. Very nice. So we have something to sell that's worth high value as well. Uh, while we're here, that's not what I was trying to do. Ignore that. Just trying to move this into my starship. This into my starship. Okay, good. What else is over here that we can use? Scanner modules, which we can't. Launch thrusters. Put that up there. That's worth two million. We got some repair items on here. That's excellent. All right, looks like we're in much better shape than I thought. Oh, look at that, huh? That's pretty. C-class, four million. Ah, 
uh, let's see, trade, right, sell. Where were we? Sculpted. I get about 2 mil for that. And 1.3 for that. Excellent. 12 million. I think we got what we need, folks. Let's go for, get some, get me some freighters. Frigates? Frigates. I got a freighter. All right. Now, one thing you want to do is when you look at your map on the bottom here, if you see your scanner, look for something that's purple. Purple is a freighter. I'm going to test my guys out. Looks like he's going to come within range anyway. Come back here. Pretty good shot. And he's gone. Very nice. Got some extra credits out of that. All right, any purple? Come on. Purple? Let's just do something here real quick. Okay. That usually entices some fr freighters to show up. No? Oh, I don't believe this. One time you want him to show up and you can't get him to. No idea what I just got. No clue. All right. Well, we need copper. I guess let's head back over there. This will only take a couple moments. Because I do want that, because our, our last engagement with a freighter on our rendezvous is going to be underwater the whole time. So I want to be able to have a more efficient means of staying underwater. See if we can find some copper at the trade terminal real fast. Probably should have done this before. This is a waste of time. I apologize. <clears throat> There we go. Copper. Copper. Grab that too while I'm here. Should be enough. Exosuit. Fix. Done. Okay. So now we have the ability to stay underwater longer. Uh, is that go over here? Oh, yeah, it does. Hmm. 34%. What is that boosted up to? 67. Very nice. Okay. Very nice, very nice, very nice. All right. So it says we got to build some stuff. So let's just head for our... I love the way those particular ships look. Let's just head out, and if there happens to be one here, if there isn't, so be it. We'll pull in our freighter, a uh, frigate. Freighter, 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 freighter. Why couldn't it be a different name? I should get a beer in me, too. That would probably make things even more interesting. All right. Let's go build things. Plop. And zip. Bidi doo da So what do we got to build? Uh, phase three. We have to shoot down pirates. We've already shot down one. We have to do the Stellar Extractor Room. There you are. Do I have everything I need? <clears throat> Magnetized Ferrite I do not have. Okay. We need 40. Do we have any pure? If you see it, wave your hand, please. No? Nobody's waving their hands. This won't take long. So, yeah. Uh, once upon a time, there was a the ground, the hobbit, so wet, dirty, slimy. No, it wasn't. It's all lies.
That's annoying. Let's put you in my ship while I'm thinking of it, and you can go in the ship. Eh, why not? We'll put you in the ship, too. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. We're a little low on the dihydrogen. But we should be all right. You're taking too long. Okay, Stellar Extractor Room is complete. Now, if you're wondering what these are, they extract minerals from the system that you're in. And depending upon what system and what it's rich in, depends upon which of these items you get. So, kind of handy. If you get a whole bunch of them and you leave your freighter in, put in one, uh, stay, staying put in one system for a while, you come back to it later on, it could have all kinds of stuff in there. It could be all filled up. So that's pretty good stuff. Back to here. Let's go ahead and get my reward. Uh, scanner room. Yeah, I'd like to have that right here. We need an ion battery. Industrial room, I don't think we need to build. Or appearance modifier. But I think we do have to do the scanner room. Yeah, scanner room we do have to do. So we need... That. Scanner room. Scanner room. Ion battery. Okay. Let's get into here. Let's make an ion battery. We should have the means to do so right now. Great thing about a scanner room is it will scan every... As soon as you arrive in a system, you just go over here, you activate it, and it scans the entire system and tells you what every planet is and what they have on them. As if you just landed on them. Really cool. Good thing to have on your ship. So, let's take that reward. There it is. Okay, so we're done with that. Uh, Galactic Trade Room is kind of handy to have. I'm not sure if we actually have to build one or not. Yep, we do have to build one. Alright. What was it that we needed on that? Two microprocessors. Which I think we now have the means of building them. And you need that, two of those, and that'll get us two of those. And then we should be able to build it. Now that, I want to have closer to here if we can. I just don't know where to put it here. So much crap here. How about we just put it on the other side of this chamber here. There we go. Trade room is made. Let's grab that. That's done, and we're still not quite at an hour yet. Yeah, great. New parts. Fabulous. So now we just need to shoot down pirates in Phase 3, so we'll have to do that probably later. Let's go on to the fourth rendezvous, because that will complete out number 4. And we should have another pirate system we'll come across in that, in that time. Plus, I, I, this system's not popping up with anything, so I can't really get any frigates here. So let's engage our warp drive and head on. Okay, up there. All right, so we're getting there. We need seven more pirates to shoot down. Now, if we can find that other pirate system that's nearby, we might be able to land some missions to shoot down pirates. We'll check the mission board in this space station just to play it safe, but I don't have a lot of faith that that's the case. Okay, we are here. Okay, we want to read the log. As you might recall, that's our next thing to do. Date stamp. Arrived in the Angierfo. Angierfo. Angierfo? Angierfo system. Okay. As we cross another sector boundary, we permit ourselves to reflect on our very first departure. Our own home turned against us. We had learned what it could not. Its gravity, its molten core, its slow decay towards impersonal doom. Our makeshift fleet was incomplete, so few of the pods loaded. The shockwave consumed those in low orbit, scattered the rest of us. The fire, the chaos, the... Wowzers. Definitely no going back, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and grab that. Green paint. Underwater protection modules. Those are going to come in handy. Why don't we move... 
these over here, you're where you need to be, right? Okay. Where's my protection modules? Let's put them in my exosuit right now. Just do it here. Okay. All right. We're in good shape. Now we can survive underwater longer. And we get some life support gels. Let me take those. Where'd they go? There you are. We got some glass. We don't need it. Okay. Good deal. In good shape now. Um, anything else we need to do while we're here? We have to reach the fourth rendezvous. Expand our fleet. And that's pretty much about it besides shooting down the pirates. So if you guys don't mind, I mean, we're at 55 minutes now. I think it's probably a good idea we go ahead and complete this out because I think we can do it in probably, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Even if it goes an hour and a half, that's two episodes instead of like three or four. So I think we're in better shape here. Let's go ahead and hit the ship. We don't have to build anything else inside of our freighter anymore. I think we're done. So hopefully we can find ourselves a, another freighter out here that has a couple of frigates floating around it. Let's see. Looks like there's one back there. Excellent. All right. Come on, where's my dollar signs? Only one. Well, that sucks. Now remember, we need four of these things. And we got... Only so much. We got 12.2 million. It's 1.6. This will. This is good. We'll take them. That's one. And if we look at the radar up above, there doesn't appear to be anybody else that we can get. Okay. So where's our rendezvous point? Let's head over there. Maybe by the time we leave the planet, or by the time we get to the planet, it uh, another freighter will show up. We don't have anything on board that we need to sell, correct? Not that I can see. Okay. Now, if we were dying for money, this planet has salvageable scrap on it. This would have been a good planet to land on. Now, I thought that this planet, Rendezvous 4, had storm crystals on them. Could have swore it did. Eh, I don't know. Now I'm not so sure. Looks like there's a storm going on right now, so we can't really quite see the surface, but it should be all water, last I checked. All right. Through the dense cloud layer, here we go. <sighs> All right. Oh, you can see it right there. Did somebody put a base there. Love when people do that. Guys, I can't explain to you enough, don't put a base on an expedition unless you really have to put a base down. It's part of what you're supposed to be doing. Go ahead and put the base down, but don't even upload it. Just get rid of it after you're done. There's no reason to keep it. Because then you end up with this kind of baloney, and then you can't get anything anymore. So, can't put down a communication beacon and say hi to everybody else. You're done. So, anyway, up we go. Up we go. Eventually, we'll get all the way up here. Come on. Alrighty. A little bit further. A little bit further. Okay. And there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and get the achievement. Uh, let's see... I just like symmetry. I'm sorry. OK. 
Okay, looks like we got an exo school exo, exo tool upgrade spot. Two. I think we only get the one. Phase four is now complete. Now phase three is not complete either, so we're working on that still. Okay. So phase four is done. We got all the rewards. We're going on to phase five. We're going to get the final log entry. We need to expand our fleet. So let's head out and let's hope. Oh, we got 1,800 uh, Quicksilver too. That's nice. Let's head out. Give it a moment. There we go. I knew that might work. Now let's see if we have any dollar signs that pop up. There's one, there's two. It's not more than three million. I think we're in good shape. Inspect. 1.8. Take it. That's three. We need two more. We got one more over here. That figures. We'll get one in the next system. Inspect. Almost two. That's okay. We are down to 6.7 million. We only need to buy one more. Okay. All right, we're good. Let's just take a look at these. Yeah, see, that's where it was. The activated copper. So you can get storm crystals there. So if you know what, I am going to head over there. I do want a couple of storm crystals. I want at least one because... I know that my freighter is starting to get a little low. So, well, you know, that's actually not bad. I didn't realize it was going to boost it up that high. Okay. So we need to find a pirate system. Let's pull in my freighter. Let's look for a pirate system, shall we? That was my frigates popping up next to my freighter there. Because if I'm not mistaken, like I said, we've got four. Yeah, okay, good. Need one more. So we'll get it in the next system, and hopefully that'll be a pirate system. We can shoot down some pirates. All right, so the next system, get out of there, it's all the way over here. Let's look at something along the way and see if we can find a pirate system on the way. Look for the bottom where it says testy, you'll see a pirate head. Anybody right around us? I do love the mapping on this. It's pretty good. Lawless. Testy, I always like that. War, tranquil, formidable, prospecting, unstable. Oh, pirate controlled. That's actually pretty close by where we're going. So let's head there. What, I'm going off course? Yes, I'm going off course. It's not going to cause us a problem. Don't worry. It won't affect your journey at all. We gotta get the pirates in. We gotta defeat some pirates. The best place to go would be a pirate system. Okay. Uh, jump down the hatch over here. Zip zip. It's discovered by somebody with a foreign name that is not English. Possibly of the Cyrillic alphabet, and that's the reason why it doesn't show up properly. Head to the space station, folks. And then we've got to try to find a frigate, which we'd probably be able to find in the fifth system. All right, what do we got? Not worried about selling or anything like that. Put that in my starship. Eh, there's no way to use that right now. And we're out. Peace. Okay, while we're here... That photon cannon upgrade, is that in here? Shield. 
Hazard, Cannon. Play Scattered Blaster. Oh, nope, you don't have one. Okay, not worried about it. Up the stairs. Okay. Capital ship, capital ship, seize goods, deliver illegal cargo. So we don't get ourselves a pirate mission here. That stinks. Okay. Not worth my time. So what we're going to do... Uh, best thing we can do at this point is we got to hit a regular space station. So maybe we'll go on to the next system and see what we can find. But before we do that, it looks like we have found somebody who wants to get away from their current employer. I'll accept you. That should get me what I need. Guess what? All right. So that is also achieved. Where is my... There it is. That's mine, right? Your capital ship. One time I was flying along here, and I came across a ship that looked exactly like it. It had the icon like that, but it didn't say your, your capital ship, and I wasn't paying attention. I landed on the ship, and I'm like, why can't I access the warp drive on this? Went all the way to the bridge before I realized, oh, wait, there's a bunch of gecks on this ship, but this isn't my the Viking guys that I usually have. What am I doing here? Let's get the achievement. All right. A lot of salvage fleet stuff that I could put onto my frigate. Freighter. I'll get it right one of these days. No, no, I won't. Let's be clear. Do -do -do. Where did it go? Is it in my exosuit? Where did I... No, it's in the freighter itself, I guess. Yeah, there it is. There we go. Okay, so those upgrades are handy. If you ever wanted to look, what you could do with them is you can, cut, you can uh, do number two on here. And you can use them to purchase things. Like get your warp core resonator, get a get your matter beam, even though I've already got it. You know, things like this. An upgrade. You can go over here, you get all the other upgrades for the ship as far as expanding it is concerned. And you can also purchase colors for nanite clusters if you wish. So just so you know. In case you was wondering, yeah, worth a million, huh? Let me just make sure this thing isn't cursed. Yeah, it is cursed. I don't know how true it is, whether they actually work or not, but I don't like to take chances with it. There we go. I don't want it on my person, though. All right. So I'm going to call it done here. We're going to go ahead and engage the warp drive. We're going to go on to the fifth destination, and we're going to see if we can't get ourselves... Oh, wrong way. There we go some missions in regards to fighting pirates. We need seven more pirates. I'm going to say a piece of advice would be that every single space station you come to, check one of the mission boards. And just double check, because if you got to raid uh, something to capture or take out a pirate, just do it. It's worth it. And we're here. Here, oh, you know what, while we're here, I should have done that while I was here to begin with. Let's read the last log. Arrived in the Numiusco, Numiusco system. Sounds like that. So still we sail on, still we search. There is an infinity of worlds, but there is only one home. We are scattered, but we are not destroyed. The others are out there somewhere. Each warp, each scan, each signal analyzed. The odds are low, but they are not zero. Horizons. So we read the final log. Hehehehe. <laughs> uh, antimatter, huh? Nice. We got orange. 
hyperdrive upgrade. Put that in there. 207. Did it again. 259. There we go. Hyperdrive range 638. Doesn't seem to make. Yeah, it actually works better there. Okay. All right. But we're where we need to be. We're not going anywhere after this. Okay, so let's jump on and head, oh, head ourselves out to the space station. And let's hope that we have something we can get from the space station as far as a mission to take out some pirates. Because that's literally one of the last things we need to do here. Another word of advice. Always check your if you're running OBS or any other program that you usually do. Always check to make sure you haven't been muted for the past hour. All right. Let's head on over. Nice little fighter there. Blunt nose. Kind of cute. Not my style, but I'll express appreciation for the design. Nope, that's not what I was trying to do. Uh, I was trying to thin the herd. Nothing. Okay. So we are on Nomiosco Orbital is the name of this place, right? The Nomiosco Cycler. So we're going to have to do something here. I'm going to take a look around and see if I can find a space station that's going to offer me some missions to take something out. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here for a moment because there's no use in me dragging you around with me. And I'll be right back. So I've gone back to the regular system here, and I've gone to the anomaly. So it looks like we might be able to get you, catch a mission here to hunt pirates. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's see what happens. So we need seven pirates. We're going to eliminate a squadron that usually comes in two or threes and at least two waves, possibly three waves. Okay, pirate activity detected. Oh, I see it. It's on the other side of the space station. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? To take them out, let's see what we can do. Wow, this is taking a while. It's definitely not 12 seconds. Okay, it says we have two on here. I just shot my own ship because he won't get out of the way. It's one. It's two. Looks like we're going to get three this time. <clears throat> yep, three. So this will give us five all total. If we can get one more wave, that should do it. Okay, good. So that gave us five. One more round ought to do it. Whoa, okay. Where'd you go? There you are.
Okay. It's nice to see my wingmen actually taking them on independently. Got him. That should be it. There we go. So that is complete. Let's take it. So number two is done. Or is that number three? And we get all the weapons out of it. Isn't that funny? So phase three is complete. But here's the brilliance of it. One's complete. Two's complete. Three's complete. Four is complete. Five is almost complete. We just have one more thing to go. So let's go back to five. Now we can go back to the space station completed if you're that kind of guy. Not the space station, but the anomal anomal anomaly. Dun, 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 dun. Anomaly. Dun, 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 dun. And speaking of anomalies, if you're watching this, I'm going to do a weekend anomaly update. We're going to go ahead and get the anomaly mission for the day, for the weekend weekend mission. We're going to go ahead and take care of that. Record how that goes. It's always nice to see how you complete the anomaly mission. So let's go ahead and complete this out, just because I like to wrap things up nice and Nice and gently. After this, we're going to run, hit the rendezvous number five, which will give us an item to build. We'll build said item. Oh, yeah. Park me all the way over here. Yeah. So far away. You shout at this unit from afar. Okay, complete the mission. We're done. Okay, so let's choose our mission real quick because we got to get to the final rendezvous. I think this is going to take no more than about just a few minutes. It'll take us just a few minutes. We're going to call this one at about an hour and a half, I think. And it looks like there is our final rendezvous. It took us three hours. Okay, a minute and a half to get there. So let's just take us just a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and charge up our pulse engine. Charge up our launch thrusters while we're at it. Let's use one of the launch fuels. We don't need it anyway. This is an abandoned planet. We're going to pull in our freighter. So it's close by. So I'd say we're doing pretty good. Oh, great. Yeah, that would have been helpful at one time. Pulse engine. Put that up there. Fleet beacon. We'll put you over here. Exosuit doesn't have anything. Starship shield module. Let's put you up there. Okay, Starship. Inventory's full over here, man. Not much room left. But, hey, it went well. It went really well. Okay. So this has been probably one of the easiest runs I've had in a while. With the exception of having to get the pirates, I really didn't think I was going to have to go to the anomaly to get my pirate mission, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright. Now, at some point, you can see the freighter below the ocean. So you know where you're going. I think that uh, communication modules there are where the unit is located at. Oh, yeah. There, you can see the edge of it sticking up right there. But... You can't reach it from here. So you're going to have to find some place to land. And unfortunately that means the closest piece of land you can get to. Glad to hear I she. Neville was here from the Philippines. Belgium. Nice. Who's the last one? 
somewhere over the rainbow indeed my friend indeed so that's where it's located at so i'm going to try something okay freighters pulled in second thing we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't pull in our exocraft pilgrim Exocraft not on. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to build it again. But somehow I don't have everything. What? Oh, probably that's why. One. Let's get the salt. Let's get the metal plates. There we go. There we go. Okay. Units ready. Should be over here. Let's head up. Yeah, this is it. Now this is much faster than swimming. Should have done this before. I want to make sure I'm headed in the right direction. Sorry. I think I was headed in the wrong direction. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it right there. Let's go under. Dive, dive, dive. Here it is. Whew. That was close. Rendezvous 5. Why am I not getting... Many deep motions showing. Yeah, I know. Um... This is really weird. I can't... There we go. Okay. That was very strange. Okay. Where's my ship? There you are. This way. Let's grab the rendezvous. Uh, yeah, we'll put you down here. Sure. Okay. Need to make contact. Got another multi-tool expansion slot. More nanites. And we should now be able to build a particular part that we needed. Actually, you know what? Okay. Bring me up. Not bad, huh? All right. Okay, we're here. <laughs> Don't forget to bring a towel. Uh, hello. Hi, how you doing? Seriously? Yeah, where'd you... Ah, oh, whatever, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> Don't bring a towel. Don't bring a towel. Anyway, um... Yeah, we needed to build something. Right, uh... Let's do it in the exosuit. This is the item we need to build. We need magnetized ferret. If I'm not mistaken, we should have enough in here to build it now. Okay, we've got it. All right, Neville, take care. Hope things are going well in the Philippines, my friend. And we're off. We need to activate this unit. This should be it. Can 
communicate, and we're going to read this off. The signal has led me to this huge ship, an interstellar life raft, drifting slowly away from whatever cataclysm consumed its home planet. Attempt contact. There is no reply. I cycle across channels, searching for some sign of life. Eventually, there is a signal in the static. Gravity divided us, and gravity will reunite us. There is a path. The message repeats, looping mindlessly. This was their final broadcast. Alongside the words, the message appears to contain plans for some sort of technology. Salvage plans. I do not know what fate befell this life raft, or how long, how long or how far they made it. Whatever this device is, it was their torch, their beacon, the thing that kept them going. I am not sure what to tell the crew. Reunited with the Lost. Completed. Singularity engine. We need a warp hyper core, which we have not used. We should have one on board, and if not, we're going to have to make one. So you know what we have to do. Yeah, I know what we have to do. Let's pull in the freighter. That's why we needed the storm crystals. Really? Cannot warp freighter here. Trying to get going and it won't let me. So I guess we'll just head towards our freighter since it's right here in orbit anyway. Okay. So we need to make a warp hyper core. So the thing we're going to have to do here is we need to go over here, take a look at the planets, and see if we've got the right type of planet. And it does not look like we do. So now I gotta go search for storm crystals because I need to make a war pipe core. So you've received a war pipe core at the beginning of this whole mess. Probably a good idea to maintain and keep that war pipe core. So learned a lesson there. So that might make this a little bit easier in the in the long run, so we don't have to go searching for stuff. So that said, let's go ahead and put the singularity engine in here. We can put the crystal sulfides on there and the ionized cobalt, but we're going to have to find a warp hyper core someplace. Huh. So a little something you can learn here. If you go to your catalog, uh, material and items. Look for exotic materials, I believe it is, and look for storm crystals in here. It's not in here. Exotic goods. There it is. Storm crystal. By clicking it, it should find us the system to go to to find some. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to be called out a liar here. Liar it is, apparently. Okay. So we'll have to go about this a different way. So you remember the last system in, where is it, Rendezvous 4? It had hold on a second, I think this was it. The Angier Faux Plot Prime. Let's check that out real quick. In Garifo. There we go. Let's check the planets here. That wasn't it. Copper, copper, copper. Salvageable scrap, though. I remember it had salvageable, salvageable scrap on two planets. This is the system. 
doesn't show it on there, but Angier Folk Prime was where we wanted to go. So we're going to go back to there. Now, by not taking our freighter, we can pull it into the system without using hyperdrive fuel, if we need to. Otherwise, we just come back to the space station. So this is going to run just a touch longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for a second. I'll show you the planet when I land on it and the fact that it has the storm crystals. We'll pause and then we'll come back. So see you in a moment. Well, as predicted, I have landed on the planet in question, and sure enough, we've got ourselves some storm crystals. I just have to wait for the right weather to appear. This may take a few minutes. In the meantime, sit back, relax. For you, it'll just be a blink of an eye. For me, well, yeah, it'll take me a couple moments. Bye. And we're back. So, uh, we got our storm crystal. So, yeah, that took a little longer than I was hoping. So we're going to make our warp hyper core. We're pretty much all set now to go to our freighter and install it. Uh, so this will fix it the rest of the way. It is now ready to be used. So I'm in a different system at the moment. So this is the brilliant part. I want to show you this real quick. Any space station you go to, you can literally go right back. It's always going to show up. Your, your freighter is always going to show up in the top left corner. You go straight to your freighter as long as there's a teleporter on board. So I left my freighter in the main system in the Rendezvous 5 system, if you will, and all I need to do was just jump back to the freighter. I'll land right there in front of my teleporter. This will be just a couple more moments and we should be able to complete this series up. And kabling. And we appear floating in front of our teleporter. And we drop. And here we are. So all we need to do now, in order to do that, we're not going to go to our warp map. we got to go to the Admiral. Stands at ease, waiting for my instructions. We're going to engage the Singularity Engine, number two. Here we go. They've gone to Plaid. Come on, you know what movie that's from. Ludicrous Speed, now! That's right, folks. We're in ludicrous speed. So we're back, folks. And what basically happens at this point is you appear back on the deck here. You go to your expedition, and you'll find that Phase 5 now has this to be able to complete. You complete out Phase 5 and finish out your final phase. And your final phase gives you a companion egg, which is going to, going to be a mechanical pet, which is really, really cool to have. Now, in phase five, you get certain things, like you get uh, shielding plans for your warp engines, salvaged hyperdrive upgrades, hyperdrive plans for your ship, for your actual ship that you currently have, so that you can start playing in a normal mode. Plus, you get, of course, your uh, titles, your decals and banners, along with it all. The reason I'm showing you this now in this particular instance, just like we're doing at this point, is because for some reason my video stopped while I was in ludicrous speed, and I have no idea why. So we completed the sub superluminal travel through the wormhole and completed the entire, unit, entire five phases in its entirety. So, you know, I really hope you enjoyed watching this along with my playing it. Uh, sorry there was a little glitch at the end there. I hope you enjoyed it, though, anyway. So please do me the favor, hit that like button if you get a chance. Always be kind to others as often as you can. And please always be true to yourself as well as to everybody around you. Thank you very much, folks. Take care.